All right, so I don't know how else to say this besides we are officially launching the Team Albo channel. You guys have been asking me to post more of the old style content on this channel for a long time. And well, the reason I'm not doing that is because we made an entire channel dedicated to it. So be sure to check out the channel. Link is down below in the description. Be one of the first subscribers on the Team Albo channel. We're here to save you from boredom. And with that being said, let's roll the trailer. <laughs> Thousand likes on this video, and I will make a Kickstarter campaign. One point eight million. Holy sh! Hey yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, and welcome back to another video. As always, I hope you guys are doing all right, staying safe. Today we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing all of the funded Kickstarter items that we could find online. If you guys aren't familiar with Kickstarter, it's a crowdfunding platform that allows you to do like pre-sales for items that you're building or get people to buy services or essentially invest in your product typically before it's done or uh, do fundraisers. There's a whole bunch of different things, but primarily people will like come up with a product and then then you can buy it ahead of time. So it's like pre-sales or pre-orders for products that you are thinking of making. So it's a great way to find out if it's something people actually want. And you can find some really interesting projects on there. It's been around for a few years and there are a lot of different items that have been funded successfully on Kickstarter. We basically bought all of the ones that we could find online. Obviously there are way more than what we have here today, but these are all the ones that we were able to successfully find and get shipped to us here in Canada. So there might be some that you could get your hands on in the States or are available in stores, but these are just all the ones that we could actually get shipped here. So with that being said, let's check out some of these products. First thing we've got. Now I didn't actually order these myself, so this is gonna be a surprise for me too. One of the team members was able to find these because I want I want it to be surprised. You know, I feel like I always know what I'm unboxing, and you guys don't, and I want to be like more like you guys. It's it's like a mystery. That way it's a little bit more fun for me as well. So let's see what our first item is. <laughs> what the f it's a goat mug about this mug easy to carry use straps and attach the mug to your bag and wear it across the shoulder leak proof dishwasher safe easy to clean it'll keep your coffee warm and bpa free it looks like one of those old vikings horns that they would like drink mead out of that's pretty, that's pretty interesting okay so i found the original goat mug kickstarter campaign they were trying to raise 25 thousand dollars and they made four hundred and fifty eight thousand i don't even know what the percentage is but that's got to be something crazy by the way guys do you think we should try making a product putting it on kickstarter and seeing if we could get it funded for a video i feel like that would be really interesting i'm just brainstorming right now i got an idea we could do something where one of you guys if you have a product that you would like to start or you've been working on and you're looking to get it launched and possibly do a kickstarter reach out to me email me uh it's your boy yt at gmail.com with all the information about your product and if i like it maybe we can tweak it work on it together and then we can launch a kickstarter campaign together and see if we can actually fund one of these products because well i don't know if i can think of any products but if i think of my own then i'll also do that so let me know what you guys think but let's take a closer look at our first product we got the goat mug the way it showed on here was it's kind of like you do this you put it down and then it just stands up like that so it's like a little cup holder because that's one of the things i was wondering is this obviously couldn't stand on its own so that's what the purpose of that is it has like a it almost looks like a leash now how does this hook on okay there's one side and I guess you can wear it like this, like a little bag. I wonder if it fit crossbody. That's kind of a vibe. Oh wait, it's supposed to have this on. Ah, oh, shit. How are you supposed to wear this? I, m I might not be doing this right. <laughs> That's one thing I would say they could have done a better job explaining how to use this. Maybe I'm just stupid. That's obviously a possibility. Overall, this is this is a very interesting product. I would have to say I'm very surprised at how many people bought it because I don't really see like why. It's cool, you know, but it's a, just a novelty product. I guess maybe that's what Kickstarter is a lot. Like it's all about novelty products like this. I feel like this is definitely for the, uh, the big bearded Viking type guys. You know, those hipsters that wear fisherman beanies and have a big beard like they would love this shit so i think the main way you would use this is just like this you've got a little kind of keychain vibe you could stick it in your pocket it would hang out a little bit of swag you know very very interesting product i wonder how they're doing now this was december 17th 2018 so not that long ago i mean they're obviously still around i bought it <laughs> 
I'm curious guys, let me know in the comment section down below, is this something you would have purchased if you saw it on Kickstarter or would you purchase it now? Do you think it's interesting enough? I'm on the fence. I think it's a cool product, but I don't really see that much use to it. I do like the other color too. Like there were two different colors. One was more of like a beige. I think that looks a little bit cooler than the black because then it really looks like an OG Viking horn. And that's really the only appeal here is like the aesthetics of it, I think. Next item. It's a pyro pet? Okay, this looks dope. Oh my God, got a whole bunch of little uh, fluff balls here. Try and somewhat clean, as you guys know. It's just me in the office these days, which means it's just me cleaning all my messes. Okay, this says, congratulations on your new pyro pet. We hope that you will love it, give it a nice home, and then burn it. <laughs> okay, that's uh, interesting. Oh my God. It's like a little cat. Um, it's all like squares and triangles, which is really interesting. It's Iceland. Oh yeah. Yo, shout out to Iceland. They're making some dope products. An amazing country if you've never been, highly recommend it. Me and Olivia went uh, a couple years ago. Beautiful. Light the candle and see the skeleton emerge as the wax melts away, fire blazing in its eyes. Wow. Okay, so basically it is a candle with a skeleton inside the candle. So it's a candle with some character. Let's uh, test it out. Okay, so uh, the only lighter we have in the office, if you guys remember, was this like taser lighter we got from uh, Jay and one of the staff unboxings. Let's see if this works. Boom. I'm gonna let it sit, catch some vibes. It smells nice. I don't know if this is smart, you know? It's probably not, but it is what it is. I don't have any plates, so that's what we're gonna use for now. Now, while it's burning, let's take a look and see the Kickstarter campaign for the Pyro Pet. So they were looking to raise $40,000. They got 2,330 backers and raised 100,000. So over double, almost two and a half times their goal. Uh, obviously, we're not gonna spend 20 hours waiting for this to burn. So we'll show you some pictures on the website and then we'll see by the end of the video how much it's burned. Hopefully we can see some of the skeleton. Really cool concept. I like that. I like these because obviously if they were funded, that means there's something unique and interesting about them. So we should have some more interesting products. Let's see what's next. Oh, also let me know if you would get this. Next item is, oh, we've got the Mighty Mug. The whiskey that won't fall over. Okay. I remember seeing this. Is it the same as the glass? There was some type of unspillable glass that I remember seeing. And this looks like it's the the whiskey version. Not that I drink whiskey, but the whiskey that won't fall over. Okay, let's see on Kickstarter. How did it do? So this was in 2016, Mighty Mug Barware. They were looking for $5,000. They raised 41,000 for this. On the bottom here, there's like an orange a little suction. So basically, oh. Okay. <laughs> if you hit it hard enough, it will move. I wonder if it had water. I'm scared to put water in it and hit it really, really hard, but I mean, we kind of have to, no? Now, I'm gonna be slightly more careful than I just was. I'm not gonna hit it as hard because if I hit it too hard, obviously water is just gonna fly everywhere. So that's not my goal. One thing, you hit it. That's pretty crazy. Like it doesn't move at all. When you go to lift it up, no problem. Like instantly gets lifted up. You would never know that it has any type of sticking. Okay, I'm, I'm making a bit of a mess. What happens at the bar all the time? You're going to reach for your drink. You hit something, it's fine. Doesn't get knocked over. Obviously it would knock it over. Like let's pretend I was reaching for this one. Instantly falls over, even though it actually has probably more of a supported base than a regular cup would. That's pretty dope. Like, I really understand why all these items got back. They are pretty cool. This is the only one that, like, I'm kind of shocked because they were looking for 50,000. They got 450,000 for this. Like, it is cool, but wow. <laughs> That's a crazy amount of money. Okay. This is a A19 LED smart bulb called Illumi. Give life to light. It's basically an app enabled LED smart bulb. I'll probably have to bring this home and test it out. So I'll show you guys that. Let's see how much backing they got. So this did come out in 2017. Obviously the rest of the industry has caught up since then. They were looking for $50,000 and they raised 365 grand with 2,800 people backing them. Like I said, there's a lot on the market like this now, I think. I'm just looking at like very preliminary look. Maybe there are some features that the other bulbs don't have, but either way, it's still pretty sweet and uh, let's test it out. Okay guys, I'm back home. I plugged in the Illumi into this lamp. You can't see it directly, but you can see the blue hue coming from it. I hooked up the app. Yes, I am using a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip right now. I have a new video coming out where I, Basically, I switched to this for a week and this is day one. So if you guys are excited for that, stay tuned. Well, not stay tuned. It's coming is what I meant to say. But uh, as you can see, you can basically set, set it to whatever you want. Oh, wait. Boom. You see those vibes? Orange, red, purple, blue, forest effect. 
What does this do? Ooh, some green vibes, galaxy. That's pretty lit, fireworks. Oh, I gotta see this. Hey, it's changing. Bro, anyways, as you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of different ones on here. Oh my God, they have so many. Year of the Rooster, my G, what? Huh? You can schedule it for different times. There's presets. Basically, you can do whatever you want with your light bulb as long as you have this. I haven't used any this in depth, but this seems like a pretty big vibe. So shout out Illumi. The bulb seemed to work pretty well and it's just changing back and forth right now. Some vibes. But this might be our last item. Okay, so this says on it, water garden. Pretty sure most gardens need water. I'm guessing maybe something like the uh, click and grow. Maybe this is one of the early editions of the click and grow. Uh, oh, I was not expecting that it's a self-cleaning fish tank that grows organic herbs and microgreens so it's kind of like the click and grow that i got if you guys remember we did a mystery box two or three months ago but it also has a fish tank at the bottom which makes it self-clean the fish tank and then also grow stuff above it and you can actually have a fish inside it and the fish feed the plants and the plants clean the water uh, i don't have a, a fish here right now but maybe we should get a little fish for the office that could be a vibe have a little pet when well obviously not right now that could be a vibe for when everything passes if we do get a fish i want you guys to comment fish names down below okay we're gonna pick the best one because we you know what we are gonna get a fish once this all passes this is actually really cool holy shit it comes with everything a whole bunch of rocks so you can put them at the bottom for your grow pads. Oh, it even comes with a little bit of fish food. A balanced diet for your fish. It's your fish. No, we can't call it it's your fish, guys. I know that's the kind of the obvious choice. We gotta come up with something a little, a little more clever than that. Give me some good fish puns. So we would do this. Pop it in the top there. Fill it up with water. Oh, we even have uh, radish microgreen seeds. Let's, let's do as much of this setup as we can. So we put all this in the bottom. And then this is for our grow pods. Put them in here. We rinse the grow stones and then we use the pods after to actually plant the products. I'm, I can't do all of those things right now. You guys kind of get the idea. We'll show you a picture or a video if we can find one. And in the future, we're gonna get a little office fish, catch some vibes, you know, have our own, our first little pet in the office. That'd be pretty lit. But let's check out the Back to the Roots Water Garden on Kickstarter. Bro, these guys are making bread on Kickstarter. Okay, it doesn't say how much they were trying to get but essentially oh this was 2013 oh my god they had over 4,000 backers and raised two hundred and forty eight thousand dollars to help bring this project to life obviously they're still selling them because we bought one so i don't know how well they're doing since then but this is a really interesting concept that i think is pretty cool it costs around 130 bucks so it's not cheap but considering all the different items you're getting not bad okay ladies and gentlemen we've opened a variety of very interesting items it's time for our final one right here here. Also, if you guys want to see us try and find more Kickstarter items, be sure to smash the like button. We can do another video on this. And like I said earlier, if we get over, let's say, uh, you know what? Let's just do something low, achievable. 30,000 likes on this video, and I will make a Kickstarter campaign that we can all participate in and see if we can find something interesting that you guys are building and fund that. But with that being said, let's see what our final item is. Oh, we got a few items. Oh, oh. Okay, we've got three items here. They all came together. Okay, which one should we check out first? Let's check out the smallest first. This is, oh, okay, I think this is the cousin of the Illumi. This is the Illumi bowl. It's a toilet light. This one was on Shark Tank too. Ah, very interesting. Yeah, basically lights up your toilet bowl. Not sure why you would want that, but it is motion activated. And if it's something you're into, it's something you can do. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to light up my toilet bowl when I get home. All right, you know what? I just clued in. I was thinking this is obviously just an aesthetic item, but I must have been wrong. I can actually think of a very functional use. I don't know about you guys, but when going to the bathroom late at night, if you don't want to turn the lights on because you just like woke up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and it's going to like burn and sear your eyeballs. You guys all know what I'm talking about. If you have a motion sensing toilet light, then it just lights up and you can see where you're aiming. That's actually very, very useful because look, I'm not saying I've done it, but would I judge somebody for missing while late at night really tired? No, because it's, it's hard to aim. Don't judge me. All right, guys. Low key, this is genius. I did. I thought it was just like some weird you like having your toilet lit up they were trying to raise 10 grand and they raised two hundred and twenty thousand dollars holy hell can they tell me how to how to make it work oh it only activates in the dark okay i just stuffed it in a garbage bin and it was working but this side is what lights up okay well i'm gonna show you it in in my toilet at home 
Guys, it works. My my toilet bowl is actually pretty well lit up and it's pitch black in the bathroom. All right, next item we have here. There's a bit of a common theme here. We've got three different tools for drinking. This is the P1, the evolution of the classic press, the travel press. Hot or cold for hours, leak proof, makes coffee and tea, double micro filtered. All right, all these details. Let me see what's inside. Oh my, what the fuck? It's like your own coffee press. I think you can put coffee in here and then pop it in here. Here. I've actually, this is kind of embarrassing. For someone who loves coffee as much as I have, I have never made coffee the old fashioned way where you kind of just press it. But I think essentially you would do this and then you could press it down, twist lock filters, screw in rod, add ground coffee and then water, cover with filter and insert drinking lid. Wait four minutes, press down slowly. I mean, personally, I'm gonna just use my Keurig. I'll be real with you guys. It's just so much easier, but this is a very interesting concept. I'm, I'm curious to see how well it did on Kickstarter. I know people love their coffee, but personally, not something I would get. I can see the appeal if you're somebody who's really into coffee, like you're a true coffee connoisseur, not like me, I enjoy my coffee, but I just need some straight up black coffee to get me through the day. I'm not trying to like make nothing special or have the proper beans imported from Colombia or something crazy like that. So he, okay, this this makes sense. He was looking to raise $20,000 from Vancouver, Canada. Gotta show love to a fellow Canadian entrepreneur. I guess, do, I guess I count, right? I mean, I made this channel. Anyways, he was looking to raise $20,000. He almost tripled his goal, raised $58,000, which is obviously really good. Um, not quite as large as some of the other ones we have here. But achieving a goal on Kickstarter at all is obviously a crazy amazing feat. And this was in, when was it? 2018, so not too long ago. So shout out to Bruce. Now it is time for our final item. This is the Rocketbook Everlast. So some type of like iPad vibe. Is that what we're looking at here? We're gonna find out together. Looks like a regular notebook. Write, scan, reuse. Oh, okay. So basically you write it down. You scan your notes and then you can send them to wherever. That's pretty interesting, but like, do I really care? I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this interesting? Let's test it out. Rocketbook Everlast. Let's write something down. Very important message for everyone to always remember. Everybody has a to-do list. Very important. So here is your to-do list. All right, there you go. There's your to-do list, guys. Remember, a very important to-do list. All of you have to do it right now, okay? Thank you. I wanna know for all of these products, are these things you would actually use or have invested in, or like not invested in, but are these items you would have used or backed if you saw them on Kickstarter? They're obviously very interesting. I feel like they're typically more niche products, um, but still really cool. And also Kickstarter is obviously just really dope. So shout out to Kickstarter. Such a great app, giving creators and inventors an opportunity to get their projects funded and essentially giving us more cool items to check out. Okay, Rocket app is downloaded. Okay, it's been scanned. So is this just essentially like sending me a picture? If that's all this is, it's... Uh, uh. Okay, Sean Callahan via Rocketbook. So it sent me a PDF of my note. I mean, it's cool, but you could just take a picture. No? Also doesn't really erase very well. I'm guessing I need something to erase it because is it just water? Ah, okay, just a little bit of water and boom, it does come off really easily. So that's nice. It's interesting, but unless you're just really fiending the ability to write something down, sometimes it's nice to write instead of type, brings back memories, you know, the good old days. But in reality, it's just so much slower and I would probably just decide to write on my keyboard or on my phone way more regularly than using this. But it is a cool product to use once in a while, especially if it's something you're into. Maybe you're a writer or a like a journalist or something like that, and you really just enjoy the feeling of actually handwriting something out. Uh, then this is great because you can just take a picture and post it wherever you want. But there is the other option of just snapping a picture with your phone. Um, instead of creating a PDF, yes, it's a JPEG, but it still works. I do it all the time when I'm writing like creative ideas down or scripts or things like like that for videos and it's perfectly legible. Would I buy it? Probably not, but it is still cool. Like I said, let me know what you guys think down below about the rocket book and Let's see online, Kickstarter Rocketbook. This was in 2016. I think they might've made new versions of the product since then, but let's see how it did. <coughs> Yo, I am sorry. I, I must have been wrong because holy shit. Okay, so it doesn't say what they were trying to get, but it does say 28, thousand people, over 28,000 people backed this project and pledged over $1.8 million 
I don't see it personally, but obviously a lot of people disagreed with me. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna disagree with me. That's insane. It's easily the most successful product that we have here today. But this was last updated in February 24th, 2020. Wait, so is this new? Campaign, let me go to the campaign. They were looking to get 26,000 and they raised 1.8 million. Holy shit. Oh, okay. I can see some other uses here that they're showing. Okay, that's kind of dope. So on the screen, they've got like a kind of an architect or a product design person who's actually sketching something out. So that's something that you wouldn't be just typing notes on. Um, they're sketching out whatever it is they're probably working on and then they can just scan it and send it straight to the cloud so they can transfer it from physical onto their computer and work from there. In terms of workflow, that's actually really useful. What I was saying I would use it for, like just writing out notes and ideas, I don't think that's what people would be using it for mostly. But nonetheless, they do have a ton of different features that I didn't explore either on here. Funding period, oh, okay, no, it was. So 2016 to 2017, 60 days. This was live for 60 days and they raised $1.8 million. Imagine we made a product together, us as a group, and we put it on Kickstarter, 1.8 million bucks. That'd be a pretty big vibe. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all of our Kickstarter products for today. If you want us to go out searching for more, be sure to smash the like button. This is honestly one of the coolest videos I've done in a little while. I thought it was really interesting to see all these different products people have made. They're just such interesting items with so much variety that it's, it's inspiring, you know? It's making me wanna get on there. Hopefully it's inspiring some of you guys. You know, but if any of you guys have used Kickstarter to fund something before, let me know about your experience in the comment section down below, or maybe something's been successfully funded and I can buy that for the next video. But with that being said, I hope you guys are staying safe, continuing to social distance. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Toodles.